Hello, I'm Miss Hyder and I am the Head of Art here at Bally um, and I oversee the Art Scholarship Programme so I take care of anyone who applies to be an Art and Design Scholar. Um, we really look forward to hopefully having lots of applicants again this year. It's, um, we always get lots and lots of applicants and then we select for the portfolio interview process um, our final applicants. We are looking for someone who has got a real aptitude for art. They don't have to be an expert in a certain thing or a, you know, a range of different things, but we're looking for someone with a natural talent that we can help nurture and grow and develop throughout the time um, at Valley Park. Um, part of the program is that as a scholar, they will have um, additional workshop days, opportunities, tuition with different um, art teachers and artists that come in. You also have um, support with resources and have a real range of experiences to encourage you and to develop your skills. Um, part of the interview process, normally, normally in normal circumstances, we have a day where you come in with an actual portfolio. We're hoping we can get to that this year, but if not, then it might turn into a virtual interview this year. However, that will all be um, decided very, very soon. When you apply, um, you'll have to fill out an application form and you'll also need to list 15 to 20 artworks that you want to submit to show us your range of skill. Um, so when you do that, um, you don't have to put them all and send them to us straight away. They are something that comes in the interview process, which is normally something that happens around January time. So they've got time to put a portfolio together. Um, to tell you more about the programme, I've actually got some Year 10 scholars here who are going to um, answer some questions from the, the student's perspective of what a scholar means and the responsibilities that holds. So, um, Sarah, can you tell me um, what has been the best part of being a scholar in your experience over the last four years? Um, my favourite part is the scholar days, where yeah. it's extracurricular. And my favourite one so far has been the large-scale animal wooden sculptures that an artist came in to help us, yeah. where she has displayed them in Portland Zoo for. Oh, okay. Yep. That sounds like it was a fantastic day, wasn't it? And they went up on display around the school and they were really, really good sculptures. Um, Hannah, what about, what about you? Um, when I first joined the scholarship programme, all I really knew what to do was drawing and sketching. And now I know how to do digital drawing, graphic design, doodling, textiles and many other things like ceramics. What did you put in your portfolio, Hannah? Because you do all these things now, but what was your portfolio like? It was only sketches and drawings, yeah. unlike nothing like paintings or okay. ceramic pieces like I know how to do now. Perfect. So you've grown a lot as an artist over the last four years, haven't you? Which is a really good example of what the programme can, can bring. George, what else does the scholarship programme offer to you students that we haven't mentioned? Uh, the scholarship programme can offer many things. So, for example, we have been on many trips. We've been to the Turner Contemporary um, for a day out, for example. That was it was very, very, very good. We've, um, we also did a uh, workshop where we created sculpture monkeys um, in the Turner Contemporary, and that was a fabulous day. We have also um, had visiting artists, for example, Jack Derling, who have um, taught us in lessons how to draw and um, make sculptures with. Um, and again, that's been, I can't fault that, that has been amazing as well. We've also had um, the Arts Award, um, which is a programme or a scheme that um, gives us an award, um, but again, that, that's amazing and it gives us another qualification. Um, so when we leave school, it gives us a clear qualification for school. Exactly, and a part of that Silver Award last year, which all of you were involved in, um, what did that involve? Was it involved in an event, didn't it, that we do every couple of years? Yeah, that was... What did we do? We create, we held an art exhibition. Exactly, so we have an exhibition every two years, don't we, of all the talents um, which you might have been, you know, other people might have seen before, and we have these exhibitions. Do you think it's worth applying to the scholarship programme? Definitely. Very much, very much so. Have you enjoyed it so far? Yeah, yeah. Very, very much, much so. Good, yeah. good. Um, so hopefully that's um, some more information for you. Um, any more questions, then please do get in touch. Hello, 
I'm Mr Earl and I oversee the music side of the scholarship programme here at Valley Park. Uh, we generally look for talent, um, how well someone plays an instrument, how they sing, um, and we try and enhance that with a series of workshops, enhancement activities and various clubs through the school year. Uh, our scholarship program goes from year 7 to year 11 uh, with the view of becoming a music ambassador in the sixth form. Application is online and you would be invited in for a day to do a workshop with us and to audition your particular instrument or your vocal skills. To give you some idea of how the programme works, we'll just let you listen to Zengo for a couple of seconds. Hello, I'm Mrs Hitch and I'm Head of Performing Arts. I'm Miss Downing and I'm the Head of Dance and we oversee the Performing Arts Scholarship Programme. Dear Connor Murphy, yes I also miss our talks. Stop doing drugs, just try to take the rest and go on walks. I'm sending pictures of the most amazing trees. for in our scholars. We're looking for natural ability and aptitude within um, an area of performing arts, whether that be dance, musical theatre, drama or all three. Um, which is our performing arts umbrella, isn't it, Miss? Yep, under the performing arts umbrella we offer opportunities within all three of those streams. So we um, look for people with an aptitude in each of them and it doesn't matter if you've attended any kind of outside of school clubs or training, we are looking for a natural ability. So the opportunities that you can have within the scholarship programme include our school productions which you have to audition for as with, along with the rest of the Valley Park cohort as well as um, specialist scholarship opportunities such as uh, particular clubs and classes um, and also uh, in the past we have had the opportunity to go on residential trips as well as many many theatre visits. Okay, for the audition process you will come in for the day where you will participate in a drama and a dance workshop and then you will present a solo audition for which you need to prepare two pieces which can be a dance, a song from a musical, or a dramatic reading of a monologue or poem. Well, for me, I was really quite shy when I first came to Valley, and the teachers here really helped me to come out of my shell, and they really helped to develop my potential and talent throughout the performing arts sector, and I've just really enjoyed like every minute of it. Um, I've been doing the scholarship since year seven, and it's really helped to expand my knowledge. I've done three Valley Park productions, and we all attend weekly singing lessons, and I'm really excited to do our Lambda exams and our arts award. When I hear a band low and they see, wow, wow. 